Hello guys, good evening. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to connect a private sub subnet machine EC2 instance without internet access and without NAT gateway. So how to achieve this, I will create a VPC endpoints and I'll attach to my VPC, uh, newly created my, to the VPC and I'll go with the systems manager and I'll connect my private subnet server with SSM manager console. So this is uh, purely in the AWS management console who is having the access. So if you are trying to access a private server without uh, the systems manager setup or without VPC end endpoints, you can attach the NAT gateway to the instance and it, will, it should allow in the public subnet. So with the NAT, in NAT gateway, you are getting the internet access to the private server so that you are uh, connecting to in the real time. So here I am getting a more secure so security purpose, uh, I have created three endpoints and I will connect with systems manager. So let's get back to the AWS console to achieve this. So I will create a new VPC in Mumbai region. So create a VPC. I will go with the new feature, new console feature. I will create Mumbai VPC. It's going with 10.0.series. Uh, I'll have one availability zone and one public subnet and one private subnet and no NAT gateway attached, no VPC endpoints. So it is uh, defaultly it is asking S3 gateway endpoint, but we are not creating S3 gateway endpoint. We are creating VPC endpoints of the SSM manager. So I don't uh, don't want to create S3 gateway endpoint. Create a VPC. If you see here, it will automate the task easily. So it will attach the subnet to the route table and create an internet gateway and attach to the VPC. These are the features. It is time consuming. So go to your VPC and check that it is finalized or not. So I am able to see my VPC. And go to the EC2 console and spin up your EC2 instance. So I'm launching an EC2 instance. I'll give it as VPC. Endpoint server. Endpoint private server. So I'll go with the t2.micro is enough. So I don't need a don't need a key pair and nothing. It is a private subnet, so I don't need a key pair to connect the machine. So I launch with the private subnet. I don't need a public IP. I have disabled. So creating a security group to allow SSH access. That is default. You can ignore this. SSH anywhere. And GP3 for cost optimization and here you can see the advanced, advanced details I am instance profile so I have an instance profile which is attached with SSM manager full access and SSM so I am attaching my SSM role you see here in the IAM so go to IAM and check the role which is having the pulses to be attached so this is my SSM role which I have attached to the instance so these are the permission pulses which I have attached to the SSM role Amazon SSM manager instance core and Amazon SSM full access so these two roles will attach to the my private server I'm going to launch in a set instance with a JB volume so view my instance So my set instance is going to start. So now it is running state. I don't have any public IP to connect the server from internet and I do not have an app gateway to connect this machine. 
uh, from public server to private server and if you see here go to connect there is no session manager installed and it is saying that you need a IAM instance profile to attach this, this uh, all the stuff so if you see here the connect button is not able to connect with the session manager so let's how to achieve this I will go to the AWS diagram so this is my private subnet uh, server which is have uh, launched and I need to create three VPC endpoints and I need to attach my to my VPC so that I will gain access to my private server with the systems manager so let's get back to this so if you see here subnets in the private subnet so if you see here the IPv4 addresses are 4090 available IPv4 addresses are there so let me check post uh, creation of endpoints so I am creating endpoint before this scenario I will show you one thing how to connect a private EC2 instances so this is a documentation from AWS how do I create VPC endpoints so that I can use systems manager to manage private EC2 instances without internet access so you need uh, three VPC endpoints those are SSM VPC endpoint and SSM EC2 messages endpoint and SSM messages these are the three endpoints which you need to attach to your VPC so get back to the VPC and I will go with the first one SSM type SSM enter so you have two types of interface and gateway endpoints so you need to choose the interface endpoint I will show you when it is gateway endpoint in my next video select your VPC and choose your VPC endpoint in which availability zone I have only avail one availability zone and uh, I need to choose in private subnet why right? because my server is launched in the private so this is IPv4 address so I have allowed the one security group so create endpoint so let's get to another endpoint I have created for SSM next SSM messages enter if you can see here the last one SSM messages interface endpoint attach to your VPC go to the availability zone and choose the private subnet this is my private subnet IPv4 address type and select your security group to allow SSH access create endpoint and we have created the SSM messages endpoint we need to create a ECTS messages endpoint so copy this for uh, time being, EC2 messages name. So if you hit EC2, you can see here EC2 messages interface endpoint. So click on this, attach to your VPC, choose the availability zone, and choose the private subnet, IPv4 address type, to allow SSH access, create endpoint. So let me wait for it available state still it is in pending state and go to the subnets and check your private subnet you see here before it was 4090 available IPv4 address so now it was 4087 so three available IP address are disappeared so why it is happened so you have created a VPC endpoints right so these are the EC2 uh, VPC endpoints which are attached to this subnet so it will create one each private IP so it will be attached to your VPC and VPC so these are the VPC endpoints so you need to connect with systems manager through these VPC endpoints to the private server so let me check if it is an available state or not so these are the VPC endpoints it is available state so let's get back to the IEC2 console and check your uh, machine so still SSM manager is not booted up and go to the systems manager I have shown in the AWS diagram I will go to the system manager and I will connect to the my EC2 instance which is in private subnet so this is my systems manager and go to the session manager in the AWS diagram go to the session manager type through category so if you see here the session manager is not booted up so let's wait for that it will take some time to initialize
let me pause the video it will take some time to replicate welcome back guys so you can see here the private server which is connected with endpoints so it has been booted up and the session manager has been installed with the im role so if you see here i am able to connect this is one way how to connect a private ec2 instance See here, I'm able to connect. So let's terminate this session and cancel. So we haven't achieved uh, with the AWS Systems Manager. So we have attached it with uh, directly connecting from the EC2 instance console and we have gone with the IAM role. So in the session manager. So if you see here, go to AWS Systems Manager service in the AWS account and the session manager category, we can connect to these endpoints and access the private subnet server. So go to the systems manager. So this is the systems manager quick setup. And go to the systems manager here. Session manager, sorry. So start a session. So if you can see here target instances, what is the instance and what is the IP and agent version, the instance ID, which is an availability zone and platform, which is a running state. So select this, start a session. So here you can access your private server directly. So we have achieved with the systems manager creating a three VPC endpoints. We have attached to your the one VPC and with the systems manager with the session manager uh, category, you can directly connect to the private server in the EC2 console and in the AWS management console. So this is how we have achieved. So that's it guys. You need uh, three VPC endpoints with the, in the private subnet server private subnet so uh, be aware of that uh, these VPC endpoints are very costly uh, so you do so please delete these VPC endpoints whenever the activity is done so that's it guys thank you thanks for watching my video please do it like share and subscribe for more videos let me know if you have any doubts or queries please post in the comment box thank you